Hello, everyone. Welcome to our enlightening art, like a um, new section. So today we are going to do something cool. Okay, let me see. So um, I, my original plan is doing the aerobic, a a precon precon but then i just realized because i want to do it more like a, a eastern and western combine and then i try really hard to find like if any of the ancient like a tradition uh artist was doing was do <laughs> was doing their uh the, that uh, a precon but then i find out like <laughs> we are mostly doing low quad it's not a precon so it's weird like uh, i didn't i uh, i didn't i cannot find the uh, low quad here but it's more popular here to eat a pre-con so i'm going to like trying to like combine their low quad and a pre-con ah, this two words is kind of like what <laughs> okay um so today uh so i'm going to show you like as as usual like uh, we are doing like uh, some artists um artist style and then oops. i'm going to show you like some artists uh, st uh like uh, artists style and also we are going to i'm going to demonstrate a uh, painting about it okay um so let's start it so first i have showing you like um what is low quad um in chinese low quad is a really like a good meaning a uh, good symbol of their uh, of a one kind of fruit so low quad, their appearance is round or covered with a golden color and looks uh, really lovely. And um, it, it was the symbol of the wealthy and harmony, which means a happy family reunion. Like in China, in China like uh, we love to uh, using those kind of um, uh, fruit or any kind of shape to like having a good meaning and then we will uh, during the celebration or something we would like to use that to share with the public uh, and with our family like in uh, spring festival we always have those like a uh, uh, red paper uh, and then write some good luck words on that and then tape on the in front of door in front of door to show like oh we would like to have a good luck and we would like to live happy and <laughs> healthy okay and also because um the interesting part for the low quad they have a lot of like um uh seeds in it so there are many hard seeds inside and it's also considered a symbol of more children and more happiness okay and in addition low country are also green all year round so and with the strong virus and meaning of hope and boo so that's why like in traditional chinese they love painting local okay and talk about the famous chinese uh, painting uh, artist like we have to talk about Qi Bai Shi, like who know who don't know Qi Bai Shi, then you will say like what kind like you know nothing about <laughs> you know nothing John Snow <laughs> okay and so like so Lo Kua, uh is a really idyllic works in Chinese painting and Qi Bai Shi really like to draw this subject and after Wu Chang Shuo like Qi Bai Shi took Chinese traditional painting and Khalif. Uh, calligraphy further so like he was uh endow their works with uh, simple and fresh present emotion and gave their uh this painting for a, a new like a modern style it's not like a, oh all their uh 
artists, uh, Chinese painting artists, like they are、uh, following their traditional. And then Qi Bai Su was the first one like who bring this more modern. And then because he was live a really long life and he produced so much amazing work, so like people will、uh, start to know more about Chinese painting and then more know more about Qi Bai Su. And so you can see, um, he was using a really like a, um.、Uh, Uh, freehand brush, like really easy, but having a really like fresh uh feeling uh towards his work, so which is really cool. And okay, and also Wu Changshuo, like there is three people I want to share with you. Uh, one is Qi Bai Shi, like everyone knows Qi Bai Shi, and also Wu Changshuo and one uh other people. Uh, and then so Wu Changshuo, like he was uh ideally uh artisting uh saying like. 化成水手不用意，古去难住，人难呃，晚住人难寻。It's kind of like he was trying to like、uh, use a freehand brush to like a、uh, uh, get、uh, finding the interesting about how、uh, people will love to see it. And but like though sometimes like their ancients like th those old、uh, like people like great master from the past like they uh it's hard to for us to like uh. Mimic how they、uh, appreciate like those object with the Chinese painting style. So which like um he like he was a really great master. Like uh when if you guys will come and join my uh class in the future, like I'm going to explain more about this artist. But since today is only like a really short period of time, so um I cannot like. Talk too much about each artist, otherwise, like it will occupy most of my time. So,、uh, I would like to like、uh, share some artists and really great, uh, like uh, artwork from them. And also, I'm going to demonstrate one of the work. And hopefully, you will let you guys will come and join my later section. Like I have a class Monday to Friday, uh, at lunchtime, and also one class, it uh, once a week class. Okay, and welcome to subscribe us. And we will、uh, keep having the Tuesday、uh, YouTube art lesson. Okay, and also one of them is <gasps> Wang Xuetao. Sorry, the wording. <laughs> His name is missing. Okay, here we go. Okay, <laughs> um, so. Uh, Wang Xuetao, like uh, it's in the modern painting world. Wang Xuetao is unique and with elegant and fresh freehand brushworks painting of flower and birds. So, like his work is like a uh, not uh like elegant and uh like if you are no matter what uh what kind of like uh uh. Which or wealthy, uh, which or poor, or like uh, people who like know arts for a really long time, or who just start to learn this person, like his, his work is really nice. So like everyone will appreciate and and easy to understand, but it just looks so good. So Wang Xuetao is one of uh like Wang Xuetao and uh Wu Changshuo and Qi Bai Shi. These three artists is um really famous um uh for their uh. For 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 doing this, uh, what's that? Low coit Chinese painting. Okay, and other people are also doing really good job, but um, uh, that three are a master is like is too like too high like a Da Vinci and uh like uh Michelangelo. Like those artists, like it's so high. Like if you mention about Chinese painting, you have to have to like know that three artists for doing these. Ah,、uh, but and also we there's more like a really nice artist. Like they are doing some works really cool, but um,、uh, it's like for the time consuming. Like、uh, I would like to share that with you guys. Uh, in the future, uh, and also I would like to see a、uh, share with you like these. Like they are doing the. Painting with with uh with the yellow color uh and the cool thing about this is like they are using the round shape and then the end will be some tips and then there will be a little handle here and also we are going to use the today we are going to use a paint and ink to like、uh, try to combine the Western like a、uh, artist style with the Chinese 
traditional painting like uh, style. So here is like the leaves. We are going to learn how to do the leaves, and also we are doing the basket, and also this lovely little loquoi. <sighs> Loquoi and acorn. <laughs> okay, that two words is like, like the words in 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 the middle of my tongue. So like I feel like it's hard to like keep pronounce these two words like back and forth. Okay, and also like uh, if you uh like you if you guys like you can also like adding a tea pot next to it because like um fruit combined with a tea always like and fruit tea they really always is a really good match. Okay, and also the leaves and the branch and. So let's do it. So I'm going to show you some of the students' work. So um, you have a better set, uh, idea how they are doing it. So you see that the teapot I said it, and there's some strawberry and some people join the pot. So like it's unlike the unlike the Western painting. Like we are not going to follow exactly the perspective uh, perspective. And so like you see that the the plate is not that brown, but it's just making feeling of the Chinese freehand brush is like uh, you get the feeling but you know what it what it is but you just feel like mm, it's not so real but you just get the feeling of that okay so now let's start it so I'm going to have a canvas for that okay here we go okay so I have the paint Hello. A lot of pain. I feel like I'm collecting this wrap. So you see that this is from last time. So I'm going to have my so first, as always, like I'm going to use a small brush to. Use brand color to start with, and like little if you have like little brown, little brown with some water. Then I'm going to um well, here is a reference of what I did before, like this one. I have the leaves. I have the round shape and then our basket but today i'm going to do it in the canvas so which will make it like more rich and so first i'm going to do is having a several like round shape here and then i'm going to create a basket here not basket like I'm going to change it to a plate and then there's some leaves because you see that sometimes like Chinese they always like to have three and two three and two here and then three like four and one and then there's two here okay and maybe there's like three here and then there's a stand so I have leaves and two one two here and then I can have a cup of tea next to it okay and the plate I'm going to do it brown like that Ta-da! So um, I didn't make it too complicated, but oh, you see, see inside the camera there is her hot dog from the very first day. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the paint. It's yellow for sure, like um, bright yellow and medium yellow. Actually, I like the medium yellow a lot because it's just not as shiny as the lemon yellow. But we're going to use two colors because, like as I said, like I'm going to 
You see that why I have all color in my play because like when you are doing picture, even though this picture maybe only have greens and yellow, but I'm, I still want to have a lot of color so then I can easy to access to. Okay, so for the plate, I'm going to do the plate, uh, plate color first. And after the plate, I'm going to do the table and I'm going to do the a um, low coil, a coil, I almost say a coil, low coil. Oh, the white one. Okay, and I know that like, Mother's Day is coming up, so if you guys can make one, and then you can share with your mom, so it will become a Mother's Day present! Aha, uh -huh, that's cool. Okay, so how to start the uh, play, because I want to have the play color. It's a white color play, but how to do the white color play is get a white color here and get a little bit brown. And a little bit, like, blue. Tiny, tiny blue. And to make their basic color for oh, my lovely plate. And um, I think like uh, next next time, next week, uh, next Tuesday, I am thinking about we can do like a like learning from the master, so like the master will be like Van Gogh, Andy Warhol, like <laughs> their contemporary and some tradition, uh, some like master pieces, so then all together, so it will be fun. Then we can learn from the masters, showing them like a how they can create those beautiful works. Okay, so you see that I was cover all their white color first and I'm going to create a shadow later okay and then if I'm going to add in some more shadow I'm going to add in here a little bit blue why I'm doing red and like brown and blue because brown is more like a warm color then blue is kind of cold color, so if I can combine these two colors, so it will be equal, then even. Okay, and then the shadow boy. Oops, really dark. Okay, and try some shadow, shadow. Don't worry, this acrylic is a bad. We can cover that later. But if you are using watercolor, you should be really careful, okay? Because watercolor, unlike the uh, acrylic, so you need to start with a light color. And then adding layer by layer, then you can have the dark color. Okay, and then another teapot here. And then you see that I was having some light color around them, okay? Okay, and then the pot and the teapot. Now I'm going to like reshape a little bit. Having some music, as always. Okay. 
gray color because I don't want it too obvious. Okay, so and then we're going to do the table color. Oh. So maybe first of all, I'm going to do all the orange, uh, yellow color first. So get a bigger brush because. I want to like two brush and finish one egg. So like that, like one brush, two brush. And I'm going to do it. Uh, I just have an invisible paint. Okay, so get the paint, yellow. I can adding a little bit like red color. Just don't put it too pale. And combine with a little bit like a uh, medium yellow like that and then you see that left okay. and right and I'm going to leave a tiny teeny gap in the middle okay this one I didn't leave but next one I'm trying to leave okay and a little bit white color as well okay this the one I'm doing on the back so like that, Let, let's do it one more time. Left. Uh, also like because I do it a really thin layer for my pot, so I don't, I am not going to worry about if I bring the paint from the outside. But for you guys, please be really careful, okay? Because once you get the dark color in here, then it's hard to get rid of the dark color. Okay, and on the other side, so you see that? Here, see that? I leave a tiny gap uh, in between. And then, next one, I'm going to do it more yellow. In here. The tiny gap, like this is kind of contained with a highlight. So sometimes like you can do a really thick, like sometimes like there's some color like combined together, it will create some like amazing like a rich color. Da -da -da. Maybe on the end, this part I can do a little bit dark color. Here, you see that there's so many different color and feeling. Some darker a little bit on the back. And too dark. You see that I keep mixing the color. You see that the background, because since this is acrylic, since it's already dry, so the color won't come up. If you're using watercolor, you need to like clean up your Plate and since this is acrylic, so when it dry, you see that this one Ooh, is really dark. And for Chinese, like um, <laughs> I'm using a Chinese technique. Let me just cover it like that, and the other brush can do that. Okay. Okay, little one here. Oops, dry out. Okay, and last but not the least, I'm gonna put two more. You see that I tried to mix the color in the same area. And then it will be a little bit different color changing, okay? And then this one. Okay, and then I'm finished with the third. One more here. 
Okay, and next step, I'm going to do the leads, okay? So, what's your brush? So, <laughs> the material, how we are combine the China, uh, uh, the Asian and the um, Western and Eastern is like the paint and the skill. Skill is more like Asian style. Okay, and then I'm going to do a leaves. So leaves will be dark green. This is really dark green and light green. Combine together. I'm going to do the First leaves. Okay, and slide changing the color. Second leaf, and then there's one more. I'm going to add in some dark color. And then this one, we can add in some. Yellow in sun. Okay, and then leaves here and leaves here. The same skill when maybe adding some dark blue. To make this look super dark. Okay, one, and then the other one can be more green and green and yellow and white. This one can be like on the side. Okay, so the leaf is done. Okay, and then next step is I'm going to get their smaller brush for those oops, those tip top and the stand. I'm going to use this one. Try to blend the dark color. Dark blue, dark green, and red. A little bit brown. If you don't have those dark color, black will be fine. Okay. And then, so first, I'm going to do like you see that the the at in like it's kind of like a. Uh, the flower, the end. Uh, remember, not all the um, low coin is facing up. Sometimes they will fit in this side, this side, this side, that side, that side, that side. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the extra paint because I want my brush to be flat. Okay, so dun 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 kind of like a star.
Okay, some have seen, some don't. Like, don't expect like, oh, everything is the same. And then I'm going to mix a little bit lighter color for the stain. Okay, the stain here. Like the stain. You see that I'm trying to create those knots. Like, make sure all the like, uh, all the stain uh, be with the leaves. Stain be with the leaves, and also here maybe create some more. Don't leave the don't leave the leaves alone. The leaves say, "I don't want to be alone." Because if without the leaf, uh, without the stand, like the leaf won't be attached to the fruit. So just remember, just like when you are going to like uh, <laughs> pick the apple, if the like the leaf is not with the okay and. I'm done with the stain, and the next step is I need to wait uh, for it almost dry so I can do the lines for the uh, the leaves. So like this, there's some texture on the leaves. Okay, so now I'm going to because I'm not doing the basket, so I'm going to do the table, like make the color for the table. Leave this brush on the side. What color do you do light blue? Light blue. How to do light blue? Use the dark blue to mix their blue. Mix their white with their light blue. You see that I'm using this color? More white, more light blue. Wow. I'm adding a lot of white. Be really careful when you get close to the edge. Mm. 
Don't want to get my picture dirty, so I'm going to put that on the side. If you guys have any like uh, topic you guys will be interested in, welcome to email email me and I'm going to we can what pick some. interesting topic then we can uh, try to open some topic um, and maybe you want to learn and maybe I didn't cover with so who knows so like us subscribe us leave some comment <sighs> actually when I was in college, like undergrad, uh, college, like my major is Chinese traditional painting. It's a really like a um, funny experience, like because when I go to like a uh, uh, college, like all my um, all my friends and like then they will say, oh, let's do like design, like a uh, graphic design or some other thing. No one wants to do Chinese painting because it's kind of like old fashion. Like for you, like because you never know, like when you will, when when what you will be facing. Because then, because I'm art education when I go to like um, Guangzhou Academy of Fine Art. And then I just feel like, oh, I want to do like fashion design or something. And I just go do their uh, art education. And then in art education, we have three major trends. First one is watercolor and watercolor and design. Also, um, our Chinese traditional painting. I don't know why, but we only have these three major. But uh, plus these three like a trend, we also need to learn how to like art education and things like that. So like I just feel like any anyway I need to do design. But then I was designed to Chinese uh, Chinese painting, and I feel like oh my god, I'm such a fashion. Like my heart is fashion, but I just feel like. If I'm not learning Chinese traditional painting in my college, like maybe I will never get a chance to learn Chinese traditional painting. And it was an interesting experience. Like, see what I'm doing right now is kind of like extend what I learned from my college. Oh, the tiny gap in here.
Get a smaller brush to fill out this color. Okay, and I'm going to add in some watercolor. A little bit dark than usual, a little teeny tiny darker, and then you can create a shadow. Don't think about like if you are doing shadow, it needs to be super dark or something. And here is some shadow from the leaves on here. The leaves here. Okay, and last but not the least one. Over here is some another leaves here. Okay. Okay. Come back with our brush. When you do the leaf, so the leaf will be go straight here. It's too dry sometimes. It's you can get a little bit, but not much. Okay, and the leaf will be left, left, right, left, turn around, go, 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 like left, right, left, right. Okay, and the other one. Like going up. Oh. <laughs> a little bit curved. Same. 
same, like the one on the left. And then keep doing. Okay, and for this one, like it's really light. Maybe you're having some tea on it. Okay, so now, done! Okay, so, wow, we did it really quick. Okay, so, if you have any question, so please, email us. And like us, subscribe us, and if you have any questions, email us, and we would like to share more with you, okay? And see you! Bye bye! Oh, today we finished really early, like we used to, like, take ac ac extended time. And also, I would like to share with you, like, every Tuesday next, next month, start in May, it will be a um, uh, master like learning from master class so come and join us okay and we would like to see you more and our enlightening art will be like providing more like excellent class okay bye